Welcome. Hey, Gil 8. Hey, Ree. How you doing, girl? Hey, G Maldano 60. OB58. How you doing? Hey, Zeke. I don't know how to pronounce that, but hey, Zeke. Thanks for joining. This is going to be a good scope tonight. Well, they're all good, right? I hope you guys are ready for tonight. Tonight we are um, Booyah Booyah. Hey, Lex. How you doing, Lex G? Booyah, girl. Booyah, girl. <laughs> We got a um, special... Uh, yes, invite your followers. Let's see some hearts in the room. I'm welcoming everybody in. I'm going to give everybody a little bit of time because this is going to be good. Uh, we got, yes, get the hearts going. We're going to have a special guest in our Periscope tonight. For some reason, they can hear an echo. Has something to do with our special guest. Um, the special guest that we have tonight is going to be Mr. Alton Walker of the Alton Walker Show. If you guys know him, then you already know you're in for a treat. But we were... Um, talking about hey p powell 625 keep the hearts going keep the hearts going we're going to keep the room open right now well of course we can't close it but um yes it is the crazy guy <laughs> uh, she me crazy. <laughs> so oh. we were having a conversation about um the ring you know should have put a ring on it and so there's this question that you know, a man should, if a man doesn't want to put a ring on it after six months, we're going to talk about that. And then does waiting 90 days, the rule of, you know, the three month rule, does that really work? Yes, we're talking about it. So this guy wants to tell you guys all about it. So we were having that conversation. Well, actually, he had the conversation. Hey, Lala. Uh, yeah, she's like, let's go. <laughs> I know, right? We want to hear this. He brought it to me. So. Yeah, he's been getting this um, question, and we're going to talk about it tonight and see what you guys think, because I have my own opinions and my own viewpoints on this topic about putting the ring on it and all that good stuff, but uh, you you performing for them? Let me let y'all... Hey! Should I put a ring on it? We have a little bit of theme music going while we get ready to get into this topic. Mr. Walker, are you ready to join yeah, ready. us? You can go get some light because it's kind of dark. So, uh, yes, it's going to be good. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give everybody a little bit longer to get in here. If you don't get in here, you miss it. Please invite your followers for this Periscope. I want to thank you guys. Keep the hearts coming. Keep the hearts coming. Yes. Um, but thank you guys. I, a lot of my loyal people are on here. I love them. Shouts out to y'all. Um, if this is the first time that you've joined me on a Periscope on Tuesday night, my name is Isis uh, Kimberly Thomas from the uh, I Hear That Girl, <laughs> I Hear That Girl dot com, and um, I, I Hear That Girl dot com is an empowerment lifestyle site for Black women. All about uplifting the sisters, providing great information and all types of things. Hey, real raps about. Um, how great women are, right? As well as uplifting our brothers at the same time. Um, so every Tuesday night, I've been doing this. This is number three, um, our Periscope broadcast. Thank you. Follow me on. Hey, Lala. Thank you. I'm a, I hope I follow you back. If I don't follow you back, unfollow me and follow me again so I can follow you back, okay? Um, you got any pretty women. So I've I got mean. beautiful women in here. i got queens right, in my right. room, okay? <laughs> Just get out of my business. But, uh... <laughs> But yes, um, guys. Lex, she's just too young. Uh, can I have the conversation, oh, Lex G? He's talking about you, girl. Young, he's man. talking about you right now. Yeah, that means you older. left an impression on him. Okay. If you're a little bit older, girl. I, you can have me. You, you know what? Girl. This is too much. But <laughs> she said, "Hey." You can have me any day if you're just a little bit older. But um, yes. We uh, do this every Tuesday, and we've been having some really good conversations about relationships, which I think is vital for us to talk about those types of things when it comes to um, black love. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't really talk about the issues that matter when it comes to relationships. We just jump into them, and we don't understand what exactly is going on. 
And, you know, a lot of times they say, yes, that's beautiful. Um, a lot of times they say that, you know, uh, there's, it's a battle of the sexes. And it's not so much a battle of the sexes. It's just that we haven't even sat down and really had conversations to get to know um, each other and know how, how to communicate with someone. We don't even talk about sex in the household. We're not really talking about things that are vital to a relationship. So I decided... Tonight would be a great night to introduce our little special guest. Y'all see him? <laughs> Why are you grinning like that? You're going to have to go back a little bit so you yeah. can be in the, yeah. in the shot booth. Yeah. Oh, Lord, uh -oh. it's on my foot. Uh -oh. He trying to kill me, y'all, already. Okay. You good? Now, nah, there you go. Okay, so... I don't know why he grins like Give him some hearts, y'all. Y'all think he's sexy? He think he's sexy. <laughs> they say, hey, Alton. Who's that? Lala. Oh, Lala. Oh, no. Ooh, hey, Lala. Lala. It's the way to be to be to Ooh, Lala. Hey, Lala. 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 First of all, this is Alton Walker of Alton Walker Show. If you guys are not following him, make sure you go follow him now at Alton Walker Show. He's a very funny comedian, um, and he's also my co-host on the Radio Revival. He's a cutie. Yeah, he tries to be, you know. Yeah, I'm trying to be. <laughs> now you're the blue. <laughs> you're best you up now. Ah, why would she do that? She messed you up now. And you I was trying to have my serious. You can't get face. serious now. You was grinning though, like two seconds ago. I know, but I thought that wasn't thug enough. So. It wasn't thug enough. Women like thugs, so you know. Uh, okay. Now you know what we actually talked about. If you was older, <laughs> if she was just older, what she put on now? Gassed up. You gassed up. Man, if she was just older, man. Yeah. Why he do that song like that, girl? I don't know. He talking about song. Ooh, what was the song you were singing? Ooh, la, la, uh, Not that one. Should have put a ring. Should have put a ring on. Talking about rings today. You did gas him up, Ree. You did. You did. So, um, actually, last week, um, Asher was the only one in the room last week when we talked about okay. women and what you know they're looking for in a relationship. And he did say that. Um, okay, walk off. I had to give a phone. So oh, I okay. Can... He did say that women only want thugs. So, do you want to say anything about that before we get into the topic? Uh, no, nah, y'all really don't want thugs. Y'all just want a man, man. That's all. Not really a thug. But something about, because the reason why y'all like thugs. She said beards. Oh! The reason why we like thugs. We said, no, the hell we don't. <laughs> y'all do like thugs. Y'all like men that are hardcore and just on the edge. Make you on the edge. You don't like no, you know. No man so, is so ladies, I see you guys you know commenting about the beers, and you know everybody's like hashtag beer game. I had, I had, I so had my what? Beer game what is the what? What's the, what's the fascination with the beers? Mind I would you. like to hear from you, ladies. I'm sure Alton would like. Mind you, Santa Claus, and what Santa Claus do? Give you what you want. You know what? Thumbs down for that, that answer. <laughs> no heart. That was no no heart. comments. That's pretty good. <laughs> They're sexy. That was pretty good. Okay. That's really pretty okay. good. Okay. Well, our topic tonight, guys, let's go ahead and get there. Um, good. Good. What what was the question? Now, you said you how, were approached. How, yeah, we was at a, a, a little single. Oh, she thing. said hair has pheromones. Oh, shoot now. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, you don't, he don't know what pheromones is. Don't do that. Don't do that in front of the camera. Oh, okay. What, is. what is a pheromone? Don't, don't try What's, try a pheromone? Like What's a pheromone? What's a pheromone? What's a pheromone? Hold on, I got to get something. <laughs> You ain't getting nothing though. You standing right there, y'all. He is a mess. Alton, you gotta tell them the story. You can't walk off because you don't know what uh, uh, Lex says. Something to pull on and play with. Y'all give me ideas. I'm gonna have to find um, me a man with a beard. I'm gonna find a man with a beard. You know, I've been looking for a man to uh, fix my car and kill bugs. And I've been real serious about this thing, y'all. I went out the other night with my girls, had my push-up bra on and everything. And uh, I did, oh, okay. Now she talking about titties and bras. I was not talking about titties and bras. I said I put on a push-up. I'll be in Augusta tomorrow, girl, if you want to come. Hey, GC, what, 80? I'll be in Augusta tomorrow. I know you in Columbia or something like that. They said they're going to pull your beard, Alton. Push-up. Oh, you going to, okay, okay. 
She doesn't right. live in Augusta. She, she lives in Columbia. Columbia. That's 45 minutes. Oh, you going to drive out there? See it? She can Girl, drive out there. I'm to see speaking you, in Augusta at Payne College tomorrow. So she got to come to see you. I'll give a, I'll put two dollars. Wait, 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 wait. I'll why why the, the woman got to go see you? Because why I, you can't go I'm see speaking. Her? I'm speaking. She may want to come hear me. She's see. working. She's working. Oh, I didn't work there. I don't care no more. All right, so let's get into this thing. Uh, So I did some comedy at a conference. And the lady said, <laughs> so a lady said, it's, if she don't give, if he don't give you the ring in six months, you need to leave him because he ain't trying to marry you. Mm. Thought it was the, I thought it was the dumbest thing ever said in America. She in said, if he America. doesn't give you the ring in, in six, six months, months, you need to leave. Then you need to, to break up. That's what she said. Do y'all agree with that? And it was, so it was his time. And she said, because a man knows when he want to marry a woman. That's true. We may know. But six months? Right. Six months, I think, is kind of cutting it close. Because I got married. I got engaged in six months. And got divorced. And got married six months later. And got divorced six years later. Yeah. Six, six, six. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Side of the devil. Don't do it. <laughs> No, seriously though, that happened. So how now long? I'm putting it together. How long y'all think you should take? Six months. I think that is just like way too soon. Ladies, what do you guys say? Some of them say it says depends what what's happening in the relationship. Maybe a year. How well do you know them in six months? Right, That's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm six front. months. In the first two I'm months. Front for the first six months, you really don't know who Alton is. Nah, I'm just saying. I think he I, tell the truth. No, I think no. I tell you, I I, I give you all of me. On the first day, I think I give you too much information about me. But I think a lot of people, they front them first couple of months. Now, I don't, you don't even pass gas. When the last time you pooed it? You don't even poo <laughs> in front of your man in six months. You ain't, Until you comfortable to poo in front of me, Y'all need to get married. that's married. But you ain't comfortable, if you ain't comfortable to poo in front of me, I'm not ready to marry you. Until you poop and fart in front of me, that's when I'm going to marry you. Right, I agree with that. I gotta um, have some gas in my life. That's a, you meet the represent you representative, but also she said Omoja said it depends on what's happening. Omoja, can you can you elaborate on like what is happening? Because that's what I said. I said like if they're having that conversation from the beginning, obviously that says I want to be in a relationship in six months or I want to be um, engaged in six months like both of those people must really have that mindset that they're planning to get married or something like that what do you say you gotta get her she gotta get her cause she burning stuff but yeah I, I feel like like I said in six months and I ain't get what y'all just uh, wrote you gotta read it you but I didn't see it she gotta write it again but um what y'all think six months what is the what is the, cause I think that's not, like I said some of y'all women ain't passed gas yet. That's my main thing. I think that's the top. That's the top thing. If if you're not comfortable to poo in front of your man, you're not in love. It ain't love yet. You're not being real. You know what I'm saying? And you don't do that in six months because in six months you're trying to stay cute. You're always trying to look good. You still put your makeup on. You you, you brush your teeth. Hey Kiki. Um, you still ain't you still ain't doing you ain't doing nothing to show this man. Your real person. You still put makeup on. He ain't even seen you without makeup yet in six months. Huh? Well, so, I meet people like this. Well, Actually, good. I was at the store just now, and I look a dirty mess, but the guy said I was cute. So I fart on the first day. You don't poo ah, on the first day. You said loud, too. Anyway, <laughs> you don't fart on the Why are you sitting up that line? Hey, That's Kiki. Line. We're good. We're good. Join Kiki. the conversation, man. I think... Passing gas in front. See, she lying. <laughs> she you pass lying. gas in front of you, you get ready. Are you saying she lying? Cause she ain't gonna poo on the first do you, day. Do you do you poo on the first day? No, no, I won't do that because I'm not comfortable yet. That's what I'm saying. Until you, in six months, you're not even you haven't created um, that comfortability. I don't even know if that's the word. That's a good word. Okay, uh, you haven't created that yet. You gotta, you gotta believe it. I believe in that one. Um, but you haven't created that yet in six months. You're still trying to impress. And I think you should get married when you stop trying to impress. And you can't get that in six months. You, you know, that's all well, I'm saying. Well, I, I think in six months, um, 
She said she ain't holding it in. <laughs> Man, she not. Y'all ain't fooling. You probably with your dude. You probably got married and ain't food in front of your husband. She said, I need to know it's real. Yeah, right. <laughs> but I she think, like, in six months, I don't have that kind of bond that's necessary to marry yeah. in six months. Um, if he dies, I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, that I means mean, I love you, girl. <laughs> I did fart it for the next. Hey, that means we baby. You farted in front of her. You remember I put it in the car and rolled up the he window? He sure did. Lex, that means he want to marry you, girl. She says, my husband and I have been together for 20 years, but have only been married for eight years. And y'all probably got a great relationship because y'all got a better understanding of each other. You did fart did, in the car. Because I really... If she he didn't even older, know her. He didn't know her. No, either. I did because I thought she was beautiful and I still do. But you she didn't just, know her like that. She's just young, man. I'm scared I don't know why young. he keep calling you out as young when he's not that much older I'm than 30. you. I'm 30. She's like 23. How old is she? About 23. I was just trying to play matchmaker during this Periscope, so I don't know exactly don't know, how the question... Listen, he's single, ladies. Me and her. And no, he's no, always no. on Periscope looking for someone. Yeah. So if Ladies, by chance, and now he's not planning on marrying you in six months unless you pass gas. God tells him. But after the single, let me let y'all see him. Hold on, on. come back to me. Come back to me so I can be right. After the single, hold on, so I'm just looking out for him. That's my homeboy. So, okay, after the single, (laughs) you can't even hold it. We are so comfortable with each other, but I still do not fart around him. Unless it, she said, "Oh, so you they, married she and said you don't fart." They've been married for twenty. I mean, they've known each other for twenty years, and they've been married for eight. And she still ain't pooed it in front of him. Oh, that ain't. Pee in the bed, that ain't love. They probably pee in the bed. Dude, twenty years, you peed in the bed. I know that. <laughs> now that's when you know love is to another level. If you pee in the bed, look. If you marry, pee in the bed and see if you stay. That's love. <laughs> That's how you test love. See, y'all be doing the other stuff. Pee in the bed. That's, that's the answer. That's your love right there. <laughs> you don't act like she ain't never do it. You pee in the bed, that means... Ooh. Hey, y'all. Thanks invite for people. joining. So, yes, yeah. keep invite, invite your followers to this conversation. So that was the number one question. The first question was... How long should you wait? How long should you wait for the ring? What do you, what do you guys think is acceptable? Because Alta did bring up... He said, um, like, let's say you're in a relationship with a guy. And you're in the relationship for two years, and you have no ring. Do you think it's time to go? Yeah, that's a good Alton, question. Do you think it's time to go? If you've been with somebody for two years and you have don't have a ring, yeah, no. Why not? No, because because he just he want to. If you you still together after two years, you still dating, together. And he hasn't had the conversation about. I'm pretty sure he had a conversation after two years. Okay, but what, why, why, why is he ready? not acting on it? Because he got the heat ready, the pressure. Let me tell y'all something, women. Hey, Tanya, that's my, that's my girl. That's my hey, sister. Tanya. Hey, Tanya. Hey, Tanya. It's a lot of pressure to marry a woman. She says wait about five years. That's cool. I like her. She mar- or she married. She's her. married. She's, she well, can't be your woman. Lex. Okay, me and Lex. But anyway, it's a lot of pressure on a man to be to marry a woman. It's a lot of pressure. We, we take on... We take on the. Let me scoot your way so you can get in. Get in with. Yeah, I this, didn't want to that's sit on. better. Okay. My arms, unless, so here's the thing. We take on responsibility for the woman. Like everything, like is responsible. We we responsible for you. You know. What I man? agree with that, Lala. That's how I feel. By the second year, you know if you trying to go. Yeah. But but here's the thing. If he, if the he topic, um, Tanya, that we're talking. The question is. She late. She did should have been on time. Stop. <laughs> the question. The, the question is. Shut up. The question is, um, what was the question? See, <laughs> I'm trying for that. Man. Y'all help me. What was the question? How long you wait for a ring? How long should you wait for the ring? There you go, Tanya. You know I love you. This is uh Alton Walker show, so he's just gonna he gonna be mean to everybody, except for the women that he wants to marry. Go ahead. Which is she in here? So she's she supposed to come to Augusta tomorrow. She's coming to Augusta. That's what she I think. Okay. Uh, but it's a lot of pressure for a man. To uh to to take on marriage, so we think about that. We think about you know when we have kids, we got to be responsible. We're responsible for everything a woman does. If you mess up the, anything, I'm responsible for you. So it's a lot of pressure. So we we are not rushing to do that. Just put it like this: like the girl that's married, check this out. If what she said, 
I know. Oh, she said she knows a guy right now. He's only been in a relationship for three months and he's already talking marriage. That to me, that scares me. He's a pansy. That scares me. He's dumb. Why do you already want to be yeah, in a relationship? Don't trust like you, there's some don't guys that him. jump. Like they just gotta be in a relationship. I don't, I don't even trust, trust a male or female that. Once you've been in a relationship, you right into another one. Like, you need that time. You need to, to, to get yourself together and heal from that past that. relationship before you jump into another. I, I think wouldn't trust that's ridiculous. I wouldn't trust that joke. But like I was saying, it's a lot of pressure. So we think about all that. So if you got a man, he's with you. I don't understand this pressure on, on, on the ring when y'all together all the time. Y'all acting like y'all married. Y'all going through the motions. He's just not ready to take. He's just not ready to make that that commitment yet. But if he's with you, now nah, here's the thing, if he had the conversation, he's probably going to eventually marry you. But some of y'all are with dudes that said, I ain't ready to get married. I ain't going to get married. I'm not looking to get married. Y'all still get with him anyway and it's five years down the line and he already told you when y'all first met that he didn't want to get married. So now this is the big conversation and the main argument of the conversation. Right. But now, if you got a man that's talking about it, he is at least talking about it and considering uh -huh. it. Uh-huh. Now, just, Tanya, just, Tanya, Tanya, you were saying that a lot of people are not honest with themselves and they don't, you know, uh, they're not being honest about the relationship. Your gut doesn't lie. Is it, are you saying as far as your gut saying I shouldn't be with this person or your gut saying, yeah, I should go ahead and get married? And Reese says sometimes men give context clues. To what? To marriage. Man, nobody don't know what Reese's talking about. She's just going to put something on. <laughs> But why are you with me if you're not ready for the commitment? It ain't. It, listen, we I'm, we with you. We ain't going nowhere. We call you. We together. But we just not ready to take that. You know, it's just something about when you say marriage, man. It's scary for me. I'm telling you. Not for, I agree with that, Kiki. A lot of people only think about the wedding day and not the actual right, marriage. Right. It's like that's a scary thing, man. That And then the finance, you know what I'm saying, to get married. Some of y'all want these big weddings, and they know, especially y'all bougie women. <laughs> y'all want these women. big, big weddings that cost thirty thousand dollars. Y'all want the ring, so he like. Shoot. I agree with that, Tanya. Some women do think they have the power to change his decision. Yes, yes, and yet they think they do. And you're always gonna be disappointed as long as you thinking he gonna do what you want him to do. You get into a relationship. I've seen it, but men do it too because they do it to me. They get you get into a relationship and you tell them I'm not looking to, for, to get married and they'll sit there and they'll be in a relationship with you but then they expect you to want to get married. Like I had a guy tell me I expected you, you to change your mind what do you say? about kids and about getting what married. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Why would you expect me to change my mind? You, you now see now you played yourself. And a lot of women are out here playing themselves because they setting themselves up thinking that man gonna change his mind because he been with you like your cooking and his uh, cooking is all that and your nana all that to the point where he just going he got to marry you girl you better quit this, this is my thing if 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 a man wants something he'll go get it if if a huh she said if a man wants something he'll go get it so if he really? is the if he says he wants you he's gonna go ahead and, and he's gonna go for you he's gonna to to pursue you he's going to want to lock that thing down yes or no that don't mean he's gonna wanna marry you and put a ring on it yet and crawl and, and put on be shoot, that don't mean that. So what is it gonna take for you to wanna marry somebody else? Huh? This ain't personal. <laughs> this ain't, this ain't no personal I'm just saying, all I'm saying is it's pressure for a man to put a ring on it. So if he's with you, I'm saying if a man is faithful, y'all having a great relationship, and your only argument is wedding and marriage. Stop that bull crap because that's messing up the relationship. If the only argument y'all having is that he didn't put a ring on it yet, but everything else is cool. He's a great man. I agree. You don't really know a person after two months. Well, Not to be getting married. Yeah, two months, six months, a year. I, my aunt got married to a man that was married. <laughs> he was married, Alvin. <laughs> That joke was bad. That joke got out of the way. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> he was married, though. He was, he was married. That's a true story. My aunt married a man that was married. <laughs> That's no lie, so man. what did she do? I mean. I mean, I don't even know how it happened. I don't even know. I don't know how it happened. <laughs>
Y'all don't laugh at my aunt. That was a long time ago. And I should have put that out there. You I'm put so, her out there. You put that know, out there. But she ain't about my aunt. She don't, she don't know nothing about social media. Ty said she knew it. She knew it was bad. She knew something was oh, right. No, I, I, agree, I agree, Tanya. I agree. You did. know when and something we had a big ain't wedding. right. She we knew. Had, we had she a had a big wedding. When I look, I know it was in Florida. I had a big wedding, man. Wedding cake and everything. She was happy. She was happy with somebody else's husband. Yeah, man. He <laughs> got in. The joker was married already. They probably separated or something. But um, he was married. Wow. So you don't, you 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 know, I think you... <laughs> married that nasty man. Man, you, you married. <laughs> you get married when when oh you know God. that. I think you get married when Right, you're... lies to herself. She lied to herself because she knew. Man, she knew someone, that. right? One thing. No, here's the, I'm just one thing. Let, what thing? No, one this thing. is the right thing. No, here's one the thing. thing. No, here's one you thing. You put it out there. No, 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 no. You here's, put it out no, there. No, here's one thing. You and whoever just said they ain't going to talk about my aunt like that. One thing. Y'all ain't going to sit up there and talk about my aunt knew nothing. Y'all don't know my aunt. How like you going to tell us what that. we're not going to do? But don't you do put that. your aunt's story in the street. I sure did, man. I'm glad she ain't on Twitter like that, boy. Oh, she'll never see this video. All right, so that question. She'll tell you. When, when exactly, Tanya? So man. you, um, the, the first question is this, y'all. When is too soon? <laughs> we coming for his auntie? <laughs> All of it is out there. I shouldn't have put that out there. Oh, you, it's too late. Y'all don't know there. which one. I got a couple of aunties, so y'all don't know which one. Well, now we know it narrowed down to two. We didn't know that. Until no, I got a lot of aunties. I, I, I got a lot of aunties. Well, you said couple. A couple uh, is two. No, I only had, no. A few is couple. three or more. Okay, well then we got a few aunties, man. Only a couple of them. I think only three of them died. So three aunties died. The first question was, when is it too soon? We as women put too much expectations on men and relationships. Right. I agree. That's I a good, agree. That's a good. You should. Tweet we that. love you back, Kiki. You should tweet that. That's a tweetable. Nah, I don't know who's gonna retweet it, but <laughs> it's tweetable. Here's the thing. <laughs> it's a lot of pressure for us to take on the responsibility of a woman. You got a good man, and you know he's a good man. He's taking the time. He's a great man. If your only argument is marriage, stop that. Stop this time stuff. Steve Harvey will mess y'all up. Y'all talking about not with the 90-day thing. Y'all out to after six months. You say you want some kind of tag? Like a car tag? Yeah, I'll give you any kind of tag you want. <laughs> If you was just, if you 20, are you 24? Okay, that's, we're talking. Yeah, about. you're doing a lot of my extra. Man. You're trying to date the women in my Periscope. No, I just heard right You now. know, the thing is, he comes on Periscope, and you a lot of times, if you guys have noticed, in the Periscope, you'll see his name pop up. And He's just, just look there looking at the women on my Periscope to see girl, if, oh, she means like a title. Yeah, I'll give you that title, girl, if you come to Augusta tomorrow, so we can, I can take you out to McDonald's or something like that. You're going to take her to McDonald's, Alton? Well, I pulled it in front of her, so we already, you know, we already to the next level. Now Family next members show. also are responsible for forcing men into marriage. And y'all, that's what y'all need to stop doing. And women, they force women into nah, marriage. Women are not being honest yeah. about the fact that they just want to have sex. Y'all want to be married because be honest and say, told y'all, I'm just interested church, because of sex. Y'all church and told y'all y'all need to be married, and the reason why most of the time, the majority of people in America in church. Want to be married because of what she just said. Sex. You want to have sex without. You want to lay your burden down. I don't want to see in no Freely. Home. You want to lay your lay your burden. You better go ahead and have that sex. I take uh I Since take the I sex. Lay my burdens down. You want to lay your burdens down freely. I spit on. Did I get you? You want to lay your burdens down freely, and that's why you want to get married. You just want to have sex. I'd rather have... How you, gonna, I'd, how you gonna mouth to them in front of me? I see what you're saying. I didn't even say nothing. Oh. I was getting ready to talk. Go ahead. I was going to say, I'd rather deal with the sex sin than be in a marriage that I really don't want to be in for three, four years, end up getting divorced five, six years down the road. You know, all that stuff. Be grown and have as much as you like. Get the hell over it, people. I know that's right, Tanya. That's, that's my girl. Y'all be hey, getting that married. Thing. Y'all Get got it. married Church because y'all want to have sex. I missed that, um, Kiki. You got to say it again. Y'all want Right, tell him, Ree. He won't let me talk. What? What are you talking about? Nothing. Y'all want to have sex, women, and that would bother me. Some of y'all women want to have well, sex. Well, no, wait. Let's, oh, let's go there. Let's go there, and ladies. Are you married. ready? 
So because y'all are, he's saying so you that. Feel bad. No, 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 no. Uh, Let, let's get, let's uh, make this clear, and I'm glad you're here. Uh, because first thing is, the reason that women lie about sex is because as soon as a woman is outwardly and saying, hey, I like sex, I love doing it, you know, I just want to have sex, what do, you, what, does, what do men um, call her? A hoe. She's considered a hoe. So that's why you it depends on the men age. know full well. They'll first thing they'll say is, you know, she good to lay with, but she ain't want to take home. It, it depends on the that's, age. That's exactly. You get called a hoe. You get called a thought. You get called promiscuous and all of this. So that's why women are lying to you it guys and acting age. like they don't really like to have sex or playing the third, uh, the three month game with you guys because they know you're going to judge them if she says to you on the first day, you know what, I really am attracted and I really do want to have sex. Now say something. Depend on the age. If you're 18, 19, 20, no. But if you're 35 above, you're a grown woman. You hear me? <laughs> you just, what she said? She said something. But no, nah, I mean, what I'm saying, but I, okay, that's true. It's a double standard. Please admit it's that. It's a double standard. Please admit that. But here's what I'm saying now. If, if What I'm saying is I'm tired of, uh, of y'all not I know to, that's right, I'm, Tanya. I do too. About? This is what I'm saying. I'm on Do y'all what side. the hell you want to do. I'm on y'all side. This is what I'm it's saying. It's a yeah. double standard. It's a okay. huge double okay. standard. Okay. I'm uh, reading. Double. Go ahead. What I'm saying is this. I'm on y'all side. I'm tired of y'all feeling like you're less of a woman because you're not married yet. And you you really don't know why you want to be. What is it? They call me up. And you don't really know why you really want to be married. And all you really know is what they've been telling. Like they've been forcing this down the line, uh, down your mind since you was a little girl that. Uh, you should be married. Here come king. The, the king come to sweep you up to do this and do that. You should be married, especially by the age of 30. If you ain't mar married by the age of 30, something wrong with you. You know what I'm saying? And I'm tired of that pressure for women. It's like, y'all should be free being single. Bump that. You know, if y'all don't want to get married, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? But the pressure for women to get married is crazy. It was a lady that married herself because she wanted to oh, be yeah, married. Oh, yeah, I remember that. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy. And I'm tired of that pressure. And I'm tired of y'all feeling like y'all less of a woman. I know that's right, Tanya. Y'all 30 or 35 and y'all feeling like y'all, oh, I should be married by now. No, you just ain't married. Right? I'm not going to do the marriage thing. I, I just want to do the Oprah, uh, Oprah Statman situation. And that's what she want to do? So be it. You know what I'm saying? But the, that pressure to get that ring on y'all finger is messing a lot of women up. That's all I'm saying. Y'all, y'all, man, y'all live y'all life, y'all whole life is y'all be trying to get married. Y'all trying to get a man. Yes, yeah, she did that. The lady married huh? herself. She did a whole yeah, life. It's an article. Um, she did a whole ceremony. Whole ceremony. Had, um, married herself. Had bridesmaids, everything, yep. and she married herself. Show sure up. Like, it's not that deep for me. It ain't, man. It ain't that deep. Church folks say, if you are twerking in these streets, you're going to hell with fire and brimstone. Well... I'm going to twerk then. Oh. They crazy. But like I said, and then they and then they tell us this. This would this would make me mad about. Like you go to church, right? And you got a single ministry. And the single ministry teach you how to get married. What you didn't do to prepare to get married instead of just being single. Exactly. How do you And how then you the person they on? have over the single ministry has been married. married for like 40 years. Why can't you why can't I be what? fine and awesome and happy being single? Why can't I enjoy this completely? This complete single life. And then they tell us, he who find a wife, find a good thing. Oh, please get them right on that, Alfie. You get them right. There's the thing about that. One thing, the scripture is, he who find a wife, find a good thing. It's not you going to search for a wife. I am not going to search for a wife. I don't think you should be out looking for a wife. And I don't think women, you should be expecting somebody to find you. Mm -hmm. I think you should just be doing what you do. He who find a wife don't mean you going out searching. It means you going out you doing what you do, and if you recognize her, then that's your boo. You just recognize her. And I got that from two stories. Adam wasn't thinking about no wife. But when he woke up, he recognized his real. Second, Ruth. Ruth was just out working. She wasn't thinking about no husband. Boaz wasn't thinking about Ruth. But they were just doing what they do, going and putting themselves in their purpose, and he recognized Ruth working. Ruth was working, didn't even recognize him. It came together without them searching. So you just do you, you know what I'm saying? You focus on what you're doing and do your <laughs> thing. She said chest all chisel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What that mean? Nobody. So you but, do but, you. But, but who, but, who but said right. who and then, who and then the person that wrote, he who find a wife find a good thing is who? Solomon. 
Solomon wrote, he who find a wife find a good thing. Guess what? Solomon had a thousand wives and some concubines. Concubines. That thing was great. <laughs> you, you know how happy he was to have a wife? He had a thousand of them. He could have a wife every day for three years, a new wife every day for three years. That means if you was his wife that day, you better not have no argument because you may not see him until the next three years. <laughs> so you better be happy with him on that day. It better not be your period that day. So, so, uh, so in other you may words, not see him in, in 2015. You may not see him until 2018. So in other words... <laughs> the he who will find the wife stuff, okay, y'all can keep on waiting what if you want is? to. But I, if I see something that I want, I'm going to say something about it. Oh, If I see a man saying? that is interesting to me, sir, you what look is? good. I'm not going to sit around and wait on him to come and be like, God told me you was my wife. I ain't got time for that because I really don't want to be your and, wife. And but I do want to let you know how fine you Think is. about what Ruth did. Ruth saw him and he saw her. So what she did, make herself available. Made herself look look at me. I'm asleep at the, the threshold. <laughs> Here go my <laughs> You know what? Right ah, ah, ah. You think Ruth you think Ruth slept Ruth slept with her butt towards her. <laughs> Just like this. It said, look at me, bow ass. Look at my bow. Look at my bow ass. <laughs> look at my bow look ass. Look at my bow ass. Feel me, bow? Look at my bow ass. <laughs> Ruth wasn't dumb. She slept with it with her butt towards her. You haven't had success with approaching men? Okay, so when you uh, approach men, what what do you do? Because you're a pretty girl. So what, what uh, are you talking about you yeah. don't have success? Like, what's the problem that happens when you approach men? Because she's pretty, Alton. Who is that? Um, her name was JP. I can't see. The, I hope she answers the question. <laughs> and I'll see. But, um, well, just make sure she's pretty now. She is wanna, pretty. All of the women in my Periscope are beautiful but queens. But you know, I don't honey. lie to them. Queens, I don't, I don't like ain't them. no lying, Ryan. Here, that's all right. Though. If yeah, they feel in, JP, uh, PJ loves PJ. Okay, they feel intimidated, but oh, then no. they some weak men. You just don't want. No, you don't need no. them. You don't need I no mean, weak we, men. Anything that we like, that we do like the chase. We do, we do like that. You know. Well, it's not when you approach someone that doesn't mean you're taking away the chase. Yeah, no, you're, you're approaching them to let them know like that you are interested. Now you got that, to which it. means, which means, okay, if you want to go for it, it's you over. You know, and there's nothing wrong with that, but I just get tired of, of this, you know, this finding stuff. He who find, and then that girl told you. Okay, uh, what did the girl tell you? But I want to talk to PJ real quick because she said they always tell it they prefer to chase. Now, what you doing after you approach them? Now, are you calling them and, yeah, and showing up at their job and stuff? Because then you're doing too much. Nah, you you. But just you pull do. it back a little bit. Yeah, just say yeah. you know that you're interested and then let it go. Yeah, yeah. Um, but. Daphne, you say you hear that too? What you doing, Daphne? Y'all going too far. See, all you got to do is let him know that you get interested. All you got to do let is him the, Let him see the high part. Let him know you're interested. <laughs> you just got to be seen, baby. Let him baby. know you're interested. Just got to be seen. You know, and then after that, I mean, you don't have to keep pursuing it. I'll do that to say I'm interested and let it be. Yeah, I mean, that's all you can do. And you <laughs> having bad luck too because the men in North Carolina are desperate. Girl, it's a lot of desperate men out here now because I got these men trying to marry me, y'all. And I don't know but what's going on. It's a new, it's a new season of pansies. Now it's you gonna a, take my word? Because I, I agree, it's a new season of soft nickels. That's all I can say. They, it's a lot of soft cats, man. They, they, it, it ain't a lot of real men these days. I don't know what happened to their daddy, but uh, it's not a. You don't get them the men no more. They soft, mm. you know. You know, it just ain't. And then, and what's happened? Like I said, y'all women like a man. You know, so y'all do. Y'all like a man. Like y'all don't want no soft. Ugh, you a know, man. you want a man. You know, and, uh, and some of these cats are just soft these days. That's all. She say in L.A. The men out here, ooh, child, girl. Every woman has that same, it says that same thing. I promise you, you come to Atlanta, you're going to say the yeah. same thing. You got, you got some ladies. Because I'm serious. A lot so of events got, I go to, um, all the men there, they don't want me. They, they looking at Alton. Uh, that, so that, all I'm saying is, I, I got it home. I do that. So I'm just, I'm just saying, do the that. men that, uh, <laughs> that. Well, 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 I'm just saying, when I go somewhere, Nine times 
times out of ten, there ain't but one straight person there. And his is him. What am I supposed to do? He having a field day there because all the, the, the women, he got plenty of women to choose from. And I ain't got nothing. I really don't. I really don't have a lot of women. Actually, it, it don't be a lot of women to choose from. Okay, talk, let's talk it about don't. that. It don't. It don't. It just don't, man. It, it, you can tell. I mean, I'm not a... You don't see all these women in here? One told me he want a woman to take care of him. That's what I was going to get to. Stay home all day. That, that's why it's a lot of men that are... are, what? are but see, y'all taking care of them. It's an increase of men sleeping on y'all couch. Yeah, because y'all allow it. Y'all allow, allow it. it. You, I remember you couldn't even date a woman that you had a car. At least a car. You right. know what I'm saying? My age, I, I was living at, you know. And, and you could live at home. That was cool. But if you didn't have a car and you over 20-something years old, 23 years old, 24 years old, you couldn't really date a woman. Reese says, what type of woman are you into? I'm not going to tell you that. Oh, wow. Because I don't do that. I don't tell a woman... I don't tell women what I look for in a woman because I believe if I tell if a woman really like me, because I'm gonna tell you on the other side, if a man really likes you, that's why it's important not to tell a woman a man what you that's like. That's right. Because he'll, he do, like everything you, he'll you do everything you say. You say you tell him you wanna you wanna uh uh you gotta put your battery on thing. You say uh you want a, a man uh that go to church. You'll say that to a woman uh, a, a man, and now here, here go this man. You tell a man, hey, I want a man that love God and go to church. All of a sudden, he start going to church every day, every Sunday with you. And now he a killer. He a thug, killer. But since you said that he, you want a man to go to church, he started going to church. Now you got this thug that just killed 10 people. He sell drugs. He in church trying to. Now he mad because they done told him uh, they done killed Jesus. And now he trying to figure out how to get them cats that killed Jesus. Because he don't understand. You try to do a drive-by on the niggas that killed Jesus. And it's your fault. Because he don't know that Jesus already died and came back to life. He a thug. He just trying to come to church because of you. And now he 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 in jail because he done killed some cats that killed he thought killed Jesus. Now he in jail 20, 20 years of life because of you because you told him you want a man to go to church. He in jail because he done killed some dude on the corner he thought killed Jesus. What? Because they won't. They be telling people. Man, all I'm Jesus. saying is, all I'm saying. I, I missed is, something about. He, all I come back on is a man that killed Jesus. Because they be telling these dudes what they want, and they told the dude that they want a man that go to church and love God. Mm -hmm. This thug killer and start going to church, and he don't know how to. He mad because the preacher up in there said, and they killed my Jesus. He's like, no, no, they didn't. They killed Jesus. These niggas are crazy, man. We gotta go get these niggas. Where they at? Because of you. It's your fault. So stop telling these dudes what you want. Because they gonna, if they like you, they're going to be called. She said her ex loved the Lord and cheating too. Ha! Ah! I you bet gonna, he did. And they, they gonna be David did too. They're going to become what you tell them. If they like you and you look good, they want you, they're they going to become what you want them to be. So now you got a killer in church. He don't kill, he don't kill everybody he thought killed Jesus. Moving and on. And then came back and said, Jesus rose. He's like, God, dog, ain't nobody tell me that. My boy back. Like getting left. So here's the second question, Alton. Go to the second question. What was the second question? About the, 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 the rules. Which, 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 which Does rules? the three-month rule work? Man, I don't, let me tell y'all something. A woman kept sex for me in three months. I had sex on the third month and I ain't like it no more. So it really don't matter. You can wait all long. You, you can, can wait, wait as long as you want. You wait as long as you want. If I don't like you, I don't like, I don't like you no more. <laughs> you gonna wait ninety days to get this man some and gave him some, and now he don't want you no more. So what? You, or ladies, y'all wait ninety days to get some, and then when you get it, it wasn't worth the wait. It definitely that that's sad. Why you didn't waste all that time, girl? Oh, you, you wait to marry. Found out a long time. Okay. You wait until y'all get the, married. That's the debate. What do you do? See, that's the debate. What do you do if you waited all that time and, and then, and then, are you, okay, you say you celibate, it makes it easy. Are you really celibate or are you just in a drought? Like, <laughs> until you get a man, then things going to change. Because, see, a lot of people say that. They say they celibate and they just celibate until they get a man. Because once you get the right man, Ryan, you ain't be celibate no more. Stop lying. I ain't going, I ain't going. I'm not telling nobody I'm celibate. I'm not celibate. Ever. I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know what. Let me tell y'all something. Let me say, let me say this to you. 
The perfect thing is when two virgins get together. That'd be great. If two virgins did this, why you know you don't know each other? You she don't says know? she's celibate. She says it's been three years. I've dated and dated. It's been three years. It's been three years. You may. She said, I waited with my husband. It was awful. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. Um, I can't marry a virgin. And this is why. Oh, Lord. You know, I'm just saying, if, if I was a virgin, I would marry a virgin. Because the best thing in life, if two virgins married each other and had sex for the first time, that'd be great. Because they don't know nobody. You don't know nobody else. You don't know how to. You don't know how to compare it to nobody. But but that, I don't think that even has nothing to do but, with it because we all became. We all were virgins, right? Yeah. We all was virgins, and we did move on to other people. But y'all, but y'all, you didn't know nobody else. But you sure wanted to try somebody else. You didn't know. What you mean? That's true. Nah, so so y'all can go on with that. Well, I mean, you don't I, know I nobody that. else, but I you still don't want to try but, something. But, but now that I know how it feels, don't the. She hey, said, oh. don't be unequally yoked. Girl, come see me in the I don't house, believe man. in that. that. That's my girl right there, man. That's your, that's your woman? I, which I'm trying to see how. This old. week? How old, you, how old are you, though? Is she, is she at least 24? I you know what, Lex? Why don't you call him? Call me, girl. Because he's doing the most. Talk. Um, but what I'm saying is this. I I rather know how. I'm sorry. I want to know if it's good <laughs> <laughs> before I get married. Because what if it's I'm not? Just saying because gonna if I get married to you, and I I I, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Talking about some odd. Well, we are gonna wait till we get married because we get married and it's just. I'm a, I'm gonna do all I can when I get married. I'm gonna. It's gonna be a great thing with me when I get married. What you mean you gonna do all you can in that bedroom? Oh, it's gonna be on the pocket. But if I got a woman that's just like, ugh, it's like that article about the woman that was practice, uh, practice. She was a virgin all the way till she got married and got married and didn't even like sex. She hated sex because all her life she was practicing and became this this virgin uh, queen. Queen, like she was the virgin person, and she got. It's an article out there. If I can repost it, I will. She got married to her husband, and she hated sex. It was painful, and she hated sex with a passion. Couldn't stand having sex with her husband. Her husband, so-called understood, I don't know if I can understand. Like, you don't want to have sex with me. I'm your boy. I'm your husband. <laughs> this is what we made to do. <laughs> and so her whole life, she practiced this, this purity ring and becoming a spokesperson, and she ended up hating sex for the first time with her husband. She said, I love sex. Well, uh, you refuse to give it to anyone who's not worthy. I, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. I mean, who don't love sex? Don't, uh, you know, don't, don't give it to somebody who's not worthy. I don't give it to somebody who's not worthy, but I'm not celibate. But if that's what you want to do, then I agree. That's all I'm that's saying. That's great. But I, I mean, no, I think it's great. some okay worthy people out there. No, celibacy, is, is, if that's what you're doing, that's great. I, I, if, if whatever, you know, I, I think so, especially if it, if it, Bother your conscience and, and, and it's mess your yes. whole Yes. If it mess your whole day up. And if have, it works for you, it works you know, for you. If you have sex and you can't, and the Lord is just messing, you just praying about that for the whole week. And Lord, forgive me, Lord. I done messed up. Then don't do it. But if you want to have sex, have sex. <laughs> Be careful. No. I mean, have I, it. I hate when she says No, that. because it don't get on my nerves when people be. That. Sitting up here and you dealing with stress and you all looking crazy because you ain't had none. Go get some. And then come back and calm down. A lot of women out here, y'all just doing stuff. Don't you're just doing stuff and, and for no reason. She said, you know, you're you in it, relationships because you want to hurry up right. and get married. Exactly. And you want to hurry up and get married because you, 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 you want to have sex. Just go ahead and have sex and don't be jumping into marriages and stuff like that. Go ahead and have sex, y'all. It's the I most just don't natural want thing. I just don't want y'all to get married. It's the most natural thing. It's the most natural thing. And it's a great thing. It is an absolute. I I think it's awesome. I really do. I think, it, you know, God, it's it just beautiful. And do it if you want to. Now, if you feel like you want to be celibate, do it. She said she, what now? I don't know what she said. No, she said if you if you just sin is sin. If y'all yeah, lying and gossiping about people, you send it too. So you yeah, might as well go have like sex. She said if you're thinking about it, you're doing it anyway. 
Now you I'm gonna be talking about that tomorrow. Just go have sex, but don't be trying to say I made you do it. Don't have sex. No, I, I don't believe in that. I, okay, I well I do. What I'm saying. I didn't is, ask you if you did. What I'm saying is this: if if you, I he mean, don't believe in it. I mean, I'm just thinking. Like I said, I'm grown. I believe in grown. Right. I believe in grownness. I'm tired of grown folks in church not acting like they grown. You're grown. And once you had sex and you're grown, you like sex. You know what I'm saying? And and I'm tired of people acting, going to church, acting like they ain't having it. And then they, oh, this, it don't stop doing it, God. Man, and you just had, I ain't going to tell y'all the story about the pastors and preachers. I know. I used to be a, let me tell you, I used to be a assistant youth pastor. You hear me? I used to be a sitting youth pastor, and I used to have sex as a sitting youth pastor. I used to have sex on a Saturday, get up on a Sunday, and, and do praise and worship, and people get saved. I used to, I mean, I did that. So, the, here's the thing. The sin has nothing to do with, with, with the Word of God, whether you know it or not. Uh-oh, uh you, yeah, yeah, that's how it was. And it's still people doing it. I was just honest with mine. They're like, I used to tell them. Like, I was honest with mine. I ain't perfect. But, but I knew that. God was still using me, you know what I'm saying? That's right, girl. He God knows. was still using me. With, I, with, with me having sex, God was still using me. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing they don't want to tell y'all. God don't see us sinning. He don't see y'all sinning. Jesus already paid for every sin that you're going to commit. He don't even see that junk. He don't see it. So he can't punish you for something he don't see. Or they lying. So, all I'm saying is, I didn't like it. I stopped doing it because I didn't like the hypocrisy. I wanted to be honest. I'd rather get in this pulpit and say, hey, y'all, hey, man, I'm, hey, your pastor over here struggling. Some of y'all women walk around here hey. with these leggings on. Y'all need to stop this mess. Y'all need to pray for me. <laughs> I, I just rather preachers be honest, man. I wish we could just have an honesty around this thing. That's all I'm saying. That, that's all. Well, that's our conversation for tonight, guys. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. Make sure you guys follow Alton at Alton Walker Show. And uh, make sure you guys visit the site, IHearThatGirl.com. <laughs> Sign up um, for, oh, to be man. subscribed. Uh, you know what I'm saying. Subscribe to the site so you know everything that's going on. And we do this every Tuesday night. Uh, we might have Alton back. Y'all think he did good? Give him some hearts if he did good. Be real with yourself. That's <laughs> all I'm saying. God designed us and created us this way. Stop acting like them natural feelings of sexual hormones, them sexual thoughts. Stop acting like that junk ain't there. And stop being mad at yourself because you're thinking about it. That's all I'm saying. He created us sexual beings. What did he say? Be fruitful and multiply. Go out there and get it in. <laughs> yes, I agree with that. <laughs> Get it nah, in! But what I'm saying, if it you, but <laughs> but, but now nah, be it, it better. To, it's, <laughs> it's great to be with one person. It I I believe in monogamy and really sharing yourself with that one person. That's it's beautiful. I, I agree with that too. Share yourself with that one person. Get married, and, and, and that's great. Thanks, but Lala. But Solomon had about a thousand, so I'm with we get it. Yeah, you can't right. get you can't get a thousand uh, of them out there. Uh, but thank so you guys. I would have that question. Would Solomon send it when he had a thousand thousand partners? Uh -huh. No, because he was like your auntie had married somebody who was married too. Don't do that too much. Don't do that. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for joining, and we will see you guys next week. Once again, follow Alton Walker Show at Alton Walker Show. And also, uh, make sure that you guys uh, visit IHearThatGirl.com so you'll know about our next week's topic. And we'll see you guys. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. And share, share, share. You can share the replay to, uh, to your friends and everything. All right, guys. We love you. Bye.